Hi guys, so for this video I'm going to use yarn in two different colors. So I think the yarn is in size 3. And the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 3.75 millimeters. So we'll start by making a slip knot. Then I will chain 7. And right here in this first chain we'll make a slip stitch. Now we'll chain three, then we'll make a three double crochet cluster. This already counts as one, so two and three. Then we'll chain five. And right here through the same loop we'll make three double crochet cluster. That's one, two, and three. We'll chain five. Then we'll make three double crochet cluster. And we'll repeat this until we have five double crochet clusters. Chain five, then we'll make a three double crochet cluster. So far we have four, so now we'll chain five. Then right here in the same loop we'll make three double crochet cluster. Now we have five double crochet clusters. Now we'll chain five. Then right here, through this first double crochet cluster, we'll make a slip stitch. And this will complete the first row. Now we'll chain one, and then we'll cut the yarn. Now for the second row, we'll insert a hook into this three chain space. We'll use yarn in a different color, then chain one. Now we'll chain three. Then in this three chain space we need to make seven double crochets. So this three chain already counts as one double crochet, therefore we'll make six more double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Then we'll chain one, then we'll make seven double crochets in the next three chain space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one. In the next five chain space we'll make seven double crochets. Then we'll chain one. Then in the next five chain space we'll make seven double crochets.
Now we will chain one and right here on this third chain we'll make a slip stitch. We'll chain one then we'll cut the yarn. And now we're going to start our hook right here in this one chain space and right there we'll use the yarn in different color. Then we'll chain three. Then we'll make two double crochets in the same space. Then in the next chain, we'll make one double crochet. In the next chain, we'll make one double crochet. Then we'll continue making one double crochet in each chain until, until you get to this one chain space. Now that we are here with this one chain spaces, we'll make three double crochets right there. In the next seven chains, we'll make one double crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. In this one chain space we make three double crochets. In the next seven chains we make one double crochet in each chain. In the next one chain space we make three double crochets. In the next seven chains we'll make one double crochet in each chain. Now in the next one chain space we make three double crochets. Now we have seven more chains left. So in each chain we we'll make one double crochet. Now to finish off this row right here on this third chain we will make a slip stitch then we'll chain one then we'll cut the yarn. Now for our last row we're going to insert our hook right there in this uh, chain then we'll use yarn in different color. I'm going to chain one I'm going to make one single crochet in the same chain just so I can secure this yarn. Then I'm going to chain one then in the next chain I'm going to make a slip stitch. Chain one in the next chain we'll make a slip stitch. Chain one then in the next chain we'll make a slip stitch. We'll continue chaining one and making a slip stitch in the next chain. 
So chain one, make a slip stitch in the next chain, chain one, and then make a slip stitch in the next chain. We will repeat this throughout this row. So now that we are at the end of this row, we'll chain one and we'll make a slip stitch right here through this first single crochet. Then we'll chain one and we'll cut the yarn. Then we will weave these ends with a tapestry needle. See where we made this last row? It looks like a very nice and cute edging. I like it. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching.